Hi and welcome to this lesson. Um, the objectives today are prepare a spreadsheet for printed output by adjusting your margins, your paper size and orientation. Edit the headers and footers in a worksheet. Okay, so when it comes to printing in Excel, uh, a few things spring to mind. You've got your header and your footer, um, your margins, print preview, orientation, all of these things we need to know how to set up before we, we send that spreadsheet to the printer. So let's take a look at what's happening. So we have a spreadsheet here, the uh, community fruit store, and we want to send this to print. So one thing you have to be aware of is that there's a menu that's responsible for all of these things and it's your page layout menu. So head over to page layout and you will see some very useful uh, buttons there. You've got your margins, okay, you can adjust the margins around your paper. You've got your orientation, do you want it portrait, landscape? You've got the size, what size what's the size of paper that you are going to print this to? You've got your print area, you've got breaks, background, print titles. And some of these we will discuss um, in another tutorial. Um, so let's take a look. One thing that will save you time is if you go to your page setup dialog box. Just that little button in the corner of your group. Click onto that. This brings up a very familiar looking uh, window. This is the same one in use from uh, from Office 2000, you could say, um, because it has all the useful information here. You've got your page, um, your margins, headers and footers, and and sheet tabs. It's all it's all there. Your page setup drop down dialog box has four basic menus in it. It starts off with page, and that includes orientation, your scaling, and your paper size. You then have margins, which you can easily adjust uh, your uh, margins for top, left, bottom, and right. You can insert your headers and footers. If you want to add a header in your spreadsheet, click on custom header. If you want to add a footer, click on to custom footer. Okay, so we just to recap, uh, to add these options to your, your spreadsheet, and we're talking about margins, orientation, size, headers and footers. We head over to your page setup drop down dialog box, which is in the right corner. Click onto that. You then get your page setup dialog box. We're going to keep it in a portrait fashion. Uh, you've got your paper size down here. You can quite easily do that. Your margins, let's adjust that to 2.4 at the top. 2.4 at the bottom okay now one thing with, with margins is that you can also choose from the preset menu here as well okay you have different quick fire settings for example you can choose a narrow margin if you want to fit as much data as possible on your spreadsheet but you don't want to go into that menu you can just quickly choose a narrow setting you can choose a wide one if you want to have wide margins or just a normal setting so these are all also there you can just as easily go to the very last option custom margins and it will take you back to the same place let's take a look at headers and footers okay so we said earlier that to add a header into your document simply click on custom header and to add a footer click on custom footer so let's have a look at that let's click on to custom footer Okay, so when you do that, you have three sections for adding a footer. You can add it in the left section, the center, or the right side. Okay, so one thing to bear in mind is that you have a lot of things that you can enter into your header and footer. Let's take a look at each one. The first one here you can add is... Uh, well, not add, you can edit your font. So the text into your header and footer, you can just edit the font from that one. Then you have a page number. 
you can add a page number into your documents you can select whether uh, it's a page number or number of pages you've got the date time a file path a file name a tab name or you can even insert an image into your header or footer okay so what we're going to do i'm going to add my name into the left section of my footer so i'll just type in charles and in the right section i'll click into there and add a page number okay that's how it looks it just means it's been added that's just the background formatting that makes it all happen so how does this look like how do we know we've applied these options click on ok and head over to print preview okay if you look closely you can see my names in the footer and my page number is on the right side and when this document goes to print that is what will be printed on the paper okay so have a go at doing this if you want to apply your learning uh, you can do these tasks change the top and bottom margins to 2.2 centimeters enter your name in the right footer enter your page number in the left footer change the orientation to landscape thank you for watching see you till the next time <laughs>